Across the entire country, 412 cases are underway in connection to this takedown. That's 412 people who have been arrested. Four of those cases are happening right here in our area. We've invited you here today to tell you about a national campaign to crack down on health care fraud. U.S. Attorney John Kuhn announced Thursday the results of a national sweep. More than 400 charged across the country, 11 in the Western District of Kentucky. As significant as those numbers may seem, it really is only a drop in the bucket. One case involves physicians' primary care, which has locations in Louisville and Jeffersonville. Dr. Jeffrey Campbell and nurse practitioners Mark Dyer and Don Antle are accused of prescribing opioids without a legitimate medical purpose. They're also accused of fraudulent billing. And in another case, Janice Patterson, Tanisha Washington, and Catterell Kennedy are accused of unlawful distribution, fraud, money laundering, and identity theft while working for two New Albany businesses designed to help those with autism. I grew up in an era where people used to talk about basically two kinds of crime. It was street crime and it was white collar crime. We're now in an era of white coat crime. People who have sworn an oath to do no harm but instead they seem to ignore all the harm that they do. In another case, authorities say Claudia Lopez committed mail theft and fraudulent billing while working at Top Care Chiropractic in Louisville. The fourth case was at MedFirst of Evansville. Investigators say two people at that facility participated in fraud, like providing back braces that were not medically necessary or leaving pre-signed prescription pads for staff members who were not doctors. Healthcare fraud is costing each and every one of us in the form of significantly higher health insurance premiums and more tax dollars required for public health care programs. We also heard from the local office of the FBI today. Over the past five years, they've made 39 arrests, 56 indictments, and 55 convictions in connection to health care fraud. That's the latest from downtown Louisville tonight. Christina Mora, WLKY News.